as well as uh, basically destroying large gains made in terms of the tourism economy that was developed. In the Peshawar Valley, uh, which are plains that have been traditionally prone to floods, and in the southern districts of Dera Ismail Khan and uh, Tank, where there was also significant damage. Um, if you change the slide, please. Overall, while the numbers in other provinces may be greater, the scale of damage in Khaybar Pukhtunkhwa was also significant if you look at it uh, on an overall basis. A million people impacted, a hundred thousand houses damaged or destroyed, a hundred thousand acre of crops destroyed. 40,000 cattle, and that means 40,000 families and their livelihoods taken away from them. And roughly $737 million of damages. Next slide. What makes me proud is that in Khaybar Pukhtunkhwa, what we managed to do differently this time was the quality of response. What I can say is that different layers of government worked, they responded, and what I can also say is that some of the investments made over the last 10 years actually helped to mitigate and reduce the quantum of losses significantly versus very similar floods in 2010 that actually, with water of very, very similar flows, caused much larger scale devastation. I want to take you through a brief journey of some of those investments, which I think can form the blueprint for the sort of collaboration that we ought to have. Next slide. So for example, a major intervention in the Peshawar Valley of creating a flood protection wall uh, actually saved the three districts of the valley from massive damages because they contained water spillover into what is the most densely populated part of the difference of, of the province. Next slide. Similarly, over the last four years, our investment in a world-class rescue service, which was only present in a small number of districts in the province, actually paid off manifold in the first two days of the actual water uh, inundating people's homes. Expanding this service from 10 districts to all 35 districts with a quality of manpower that is second to none meant that our rescue services could actually get to and save 70,000 people through a proactive response on the day. Next slide. The 10 years of governance and the governance standards that we've set actually, and I saw this firsthand visiting different districts of the Peshawar Valley helped to uh, create conditions for a proactive response that were better than have ever been seen before in the province. And there are many heroes that were produced. Um, what you see on screen is a picture of uh, Kuratullah and Wazir, uh, an additional district commissioner in the Noshera district, and uh, the sort of unlikely figure that emerged in Khaybar Pukhtunkhwa, where women in administrative positions also became heroes of the flood response. Uh, beyond this, the fact that this is perhaps the one province that has a functional local government system in place, and that local government system actually consists of something like 4,000 village governments at the community level, meant that those village governments and the, and the village nazims actually became the fulcrums, the focal point for response in terms of coordinating the relief and rehabilitation effort at the district level. Next slide. Next slide. As we move beyond immediate recovery into sort of longer term rehabilitation, it's important to note, and I think this message is really important that it go out with the sort of conviction uh, that uh, I would like for all of you to actually uh, believe, is that we actually fast-tracked uh, longer-term rehabilitation, both at speed as well as with the maximum levels of transparency using technology, uh, using third-party audits, in terms of fast-tracking 
the compensation that is to be given to private citizens in terms of fast tracking a lot of the immediate rehabilitation that had to happen in the most impacted areas such as uh, Swat and Dera Ismail Khan and Tank where there's significant damage to the road network. Next. And I think as a sign of our own commitment in what is actually financially a very, very difficult time for Pakistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa put its front foot forward to try and actually maximize the resources that it gave out of uh, its own pockets to the flood relief effort. Our former Prime Minister Imran Khan led a flood uh, telethon and the first money that was disbursed to people who lost their houses was a billion rupees from that particular fundraising effort. Uh, our government employees contributed 2.7 billion rupees and government set aside 10 billion rupees on top of that to ensure that those people who've lost their housing uh, actually get access to financing to be able to rebuild as quickly as possible, in as transparent a way as possible, because the money that they got uh, was through the um, a local bank, through an ATM card, and with zero human interaction. Um, beyond this, and I'm sure other provinces did this as well, we almost froze development expenditure to be able to repackage and repurpose and prioritize funding uh, for flood relief uh, before anything else, and also diverted other development expenditure uh, in the road sector, in the health and education sector, to actually first cover for damage infrastructure before actually going on with the um, normal development program of the province. Next slide. Now, one case that I want to make very passionately. Why does Heber Pukhtun Hua need your help? Yes, it's true, and uh, the Honorable Chief Minister Sindh is sitting, and I can't claim that we had the same impact in Khyber Pukhtunkhwa uh, of the floods that we had in Sindh. But remember that Khyber Pukhtunkhwa is the province to which the peace and security of Pakistan is most linked. Remember that we actually have a responsibility that we try our <coughs> best to actually fulfill, the best of our ability, of mainstreaming the former tribal districts of ex Fata that perhaps are critical in terms of bringing them into the economic net of the country to be able to actually give uh, some of the most troubled areas of Pakistan a foundation of economic progress that can actually uh, contribute to the longer term peace and security of, of Pakistan. And remember that Khyber Pukhtunkhwa, if you include Fata, uh, in terms of the war on militancy, and these are interesting figures, uh, actually has seen 73% of militancy-related deaths versus the rest of the country. Next. So what we did beyond the short term, and this is getting to the crux of uh, where you can actually help, is first, we actually, perhaps more rapidly than any other province, built our project plan, $544 million, 1,500 kilometers of roads, something like uh, 1,800 education facilities, and other details that you see here, the irrigation network, uh, the health and education uh, network, the water supply schemes. All of these are available in the Heber Pukhtunkhwa flood response booklet that is both available outside as well as online so that individual countries and uh, donors can help engage post this flood effort into where they can uh, contribute. And beyond this, next slide, <coughs> are the citizen losses of 193 million, large chunks of which, such as the housing damage compensation, we are covering ourselves. But in terms of being able to build more resilient uh, uh, agriculture, a, a more uh, resilient livestock sector. It is important that here we also collaborate and partner uh, with uh, international partners, uh, and there are many ways. The World Bank, for example, has already helped in terms of um, raising and allowing those 
with subsistence agriculture as a means of living from being able to regain their livelihoods. Next. So in a nutshell, if you actually look at the figures, and we've uh, figured out these pragmatically. Um, $480 million is the funding gap of a total outlay of something like $900 million. If you include a resilient infrastructure fund that we want to be able to position as the next investment in the province that actually helps us uh, continue this journey of building better institutions that can cope with crisis in a better way because we are actually very encouraged by the impact that the investments that we have made has brought. So, last slide. If you actually reflect on the message I'm giving, yes, uh, relative to Sindh and Balochistan, the quantum of damage is smaller. But in terms of the significance of the damage and the construct of Pakistan's uh, um, financial system in the provinces, the needs of each province are acute. And I hope that as you help us uh, and as we um, embark on a partnership, that we can actually help you set standards for the way that development assistance should work that can set an example both in Pakistan as well as across the international development community. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank the uh, Minister for Finance and Health from Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. I must